hello dear learners we are going to cover few of the mcqs today from social pharmacy which was earlier known as health education and community pharmacy the topic we are covering is communicable diseases and we are on part 4 previous three parts was about like introduction to communicable diseases their classification and respiratory tract infections ka mcqs now continuing with the mcqs from respiratory tract infections to start with the question 1 first question says the symptoms can be dash in earlier video we have seen the signs now it is symptoms so i will suggest you all to go through first three parts first because it is the continuation of earlier parts so symptoms can be whether they can be chronic relapsing remitting or all of the above the correct answer is it is all of the above the symptoms can be acute chronic relapsing remitting now what do they mean now as you all know these are the common terms acute and chronic so acute chronic is uh, which is very well known and now what is relapsing relapsing is something nothing but the symptoms that have occurred previously okay when means like they are considered to be resolved but they will return after some time so these are relapsing symptoms relapsing relapsing is nothing but like recurring it is considered that now it has been resolved but it will reappear after some time the very common example is it is like depression symptoms they are considered to be resolved but after a few years they can reappear then what do you mean by remitting symptoms now remitting is nothing but the symptoms which the person was experiencing now they are supposed to be completely improved or disappeared like if a person like for example had an headache then uh, after a long time like after few years the person will experience that now that regular issue has been resolved so these are nothing but remitting symptoms so as you can see here remitting is nothing but diminished or cancelled that has gone and relapsing is nothing but reoccurring like they will reoccur backslide okay revert back so this is nothing but relapsing and recurring symptoms and when we come to acute and chronic acute is nothing now these are both are pain they are severe pains only but acute is something which is for very shorter duration and chronic is something which is continuous and it is reoccurring for a longer period of time so this is with the types of symptoms which can be acute chronic relapsing remitting etc so this answer was all of the above next question is signs and symptoms of chicken pox include dash the chicken pox signs and symptoms whether they include mild fever itching pustular lesions scabs or all of the above the correct answer is again it is all of the above the signs and symptoms of chicken pox include fever itching pustular lesions scabs so how it is like these are the stages of chicken pox first stage second stage third stage in first stage as you can see here it is just a small red bump then second it is a fluid filled blister and the third stage it is the dried blister that is scabbed lesion so as you can see here in the image these are the types of acne okay blackheads whiteheads papules then cystic uh, then nodules and all so here the two things which are of interest are like macule and papule macule as you can see here these are the flat surfaced structures and papules are bit raised areas okay whereas crusted macules and papules are like see these are the dried forms next is as you can see here macule first image which is a very flat spot papule which is a raised bit raised area vesicle which is filled with the fluid and pustules as you can see here in the image as the name pustule it is pust field so macule papule vesicle pustule like macular lesions and pustular lesions mild fever itching and then dried lesions like scabs so these are the symptoms of chicken pox 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ मीजल्स इन्क्लूड वेदर इट इज हाई फीवर रनी नोज कफ कॉप्लिक स्पॉट्स रेड मैक्यूलर रैशेस ऑल ओवर द बॉडी और ऑल ऑफ द अबव अगेन द करेक्ट आंसर इज इट इज ऑल ऑफ द अबव हाई फीवर रनी नोज कफ Now see these are since respiratory tract infection these symptoms are going to be common in each and every type of respiratory tract infection that is fever runny nose cough etc then coplic spot and macula now macules we have already seen macules are nothing but these are the flat spots flat reddish spots so these are red macular rashes this is one of the sign of measles uh, then coplic spot the like coplic spot as you can see here coplic spot is nothing but it is a whitish spot which is having a red background and it generally occurs inside the mouth that is inside the means the target area is generally inside the uh, cheek okay inner linings of the cheeks so these are coplic spots which is the characteristic feature of measles along with the fever Of runny nose, etc. Okay. Next question is signs and symptoms of diphtheria include dash, whether it is mild fever with prostration, swallowing difficulties, grayish yellow patches over the throat and tonsils, or all of the above. As you can see here, the right answer is it is all of the above. Like. mild fever with prostration prostration is nothing but intense weakness or it is collapsing feeling then swallowing difficulties can be there and the characteristic of diphtheria as that of like we have seen each characteristic for each disease say for chicken pox measles now and it's for diphtheria the characteristic is grayish yellow patches over the throat and tonsils so which you can see here in the picture these are grayish yellow patches over the tonsils and throat and swallowing difficulties can be there because of these because of this condition along with the mild fever <coughs> next question is signs and symptoms of tuberculosis include dash whether it's excessive fatigue weakness weight loss cough with increasing sputum formation which is for longer time or all of the above the correct answer is again it is all of the above signs and symptoms of tuberculosis include all these symptoms like fatigue weakness uh, is a symptom which one can experience okay weight loss is a sign of characteristic sign of tuberculosis and cough again since it's a respiratory tract infection cough with increasing sputum formation these are all symptoms prolonged cough chest pain is there blood in sputum can be there okay weakness fatigue can be experienced by a person weight loss okay due to loss of appetite fevers fever chills can be there night sweats etc so with this we finish with few of the mcqs from part 4 of communicable disease which was about signs and symptoms of respiratory tract infections next part part 5 stay stay tuned for the part 5 thank you